What's going on folks? Welcome back to another video on irrigation. I'm going to show you the process of configuring a BIF irrigation timer from Orbit. We all understand that the aim of irrigation is delivering water to the plant under the most efficient and economic means. It has therefore evolved over time, beginning with rain dependency to using a hose, then we came to irrigation timers. And finally we're at the point of integrating the Internet of Things devices that run on smart watering to our irrigation systems. So the BI irrigation hub from Orbit is an example of these IoT devices that has integrated smart watering into their program. The main features of this device are the application interface that allows you to control your timer from anywhere and it also sends updates and notifications on changes, receiving instant timer updates and we have weather updates and other notifications. We also have the feature of weather sense that is uh, automatic watering adjustments based on your local weather conditions and the landscape profile in your area. Smart watering is a feature on modern devices that is capable of automating the irrigation process by analyzing the rainfall conditions in an area, water amounts and the soil type, and climates that is to control irrigation directly without human interventions. It runs on a changing program that is fed using sensors and data delivered to the device. The communication port is where the wire bundling the four zones of the sprinkler manifold goes. The pump represents a port that a pump can be plugged into to synchronize with the start of the sprinkler timers. So in case you have a pump, you can wire that into that port and it's going to synchronize with the start of the sprinkler timers. The sensor is where you can plug in your soil moisture sensor to feed information to the hub. To configure your device, assemble the various parts, then connect the wires according to your zones. Plug in the power adapter. Now as the device loads up, open the application and create an account or log in via an account. Once you have your account set up, add your device to the account by pairing through Bluetooth. And this will enable the device to connect to a 2.4 GHz wireless network of your Wi-Fi. To do this, you are presented with two options. One is for a new device, and another one is when adding a device that someone has already configured, which requires a code from the account. For a new device, go with the new device option, then select the indoor timer. And since you have your device hooked up and powered on, continue to connect the device via Bluetooth. Confirm the device address by looking under the lid covering the wires and ports on the device. Once you are done with that, the connection proceeds and lists the network connection available. Select your Wi-Fi and connect. Once complete, it is going to update the device firmware. The next thing you are presented with is the page to configure the zones that you have set up on your yard. Select the zones you have installed. It is going to test them for device functionality. Once the test is done, you can now configure the zone name and the zone is set up, ready for operations and additional configurations. There are three ways you can operate the zones. That is, manually turning on the timer, or you can set up a program of your own. And another way is by running the system under the smart watering feature, which from my perspective works best. But remember that it all depends on your needs. So we are going to take a look at each way and I believe that it will help you make your choice.
so you have seen for yourself the device and its features and how to configure it. If you are looking for something that you can control from anywhere through an application interface with a smart watering ability and weather sense, give a try to this device. I hope this video will give you a hint of what you're going through and help you in your decision making process. As always, thank you for watching. And if you love the content, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more home DIY solutions.